doing much of anything. But now the Ultras are through. They are slowly opening themselves up a position. I think they're actually going to be able to engage that 12 o'clock. That Nexus heavily damaged already. A lot of those cannons not really doing much. Jenna is going to wait for now. A little bit before he goes in for that final push. But Stork, I still fear for him. He's only uh, really producing Zealots for now. Another Dark Swarm going to go up at that 12 o'clock. Nexus is still up for Stork. He's trying to get as much mining done as he can. Getting some storms off on those Ultras. But I think those Ultras are going to be able to pick off his uh, Nexus momentarily. Nexus is going to go down right now. And Stork with that might have just lost this game. He's just a little bit behind now simply because of... Jirong's massive army advantage is that he took down, did a lot of production damage to Stork. I think took down five, six gateways, and J Stork not, really doesn't have much in the way of mining either. The upper left hand right now, I don't think he's mining much at all. I think this 12 o'clock was his last lifeline, moving up with Zealots right now to try to do something. Has a pretty large force of Zealots, not much else. Has a couple high Templars alongside. Let's see still trying to storm, still trying to save this 12. Still have some barely mining at the upper left, but he needs that 12. He needs to reestablish that right now. I'm not really even sure he has the resources to do that. Trying to move some forces down towards the 6 to spot what's going on there. But Jadong still mining from that. And as I'm saying, Jadong just has enough army already on the ground. He's lost a lot of it, sure. Lost a lot of his ultras going for the 12, as I suspected would happen. But he still has enough to support. He still has some mining. He still has a bunch of drones just out on the ground, which I'm surprised he doesn't, probably doesn't keep at that 12 because he knows it's going to be a target. Could saturate just a little bit more, maybe, but you know, what am I to question a pro? Even though they do make mistakes, like every other single human being on the planet, I'm just—I gotta say—I'm fearing. I'm—I'm I'm fearing a little bit for Sork at this point. He'd have to come out with a miracle micro move right now to get back in this game. He is going to be able to reestablish this 12 simply because Stork has not enough forces to attack it again. Jadong, I mean, I'm sorry, Jadong does not have enough force to attack it again. Meanwhile, Stork has rebuilt a pretty sizable Zod army, has a couple Archons in the High Templars long time, so support has a DT in there as well. Actually, I think these DT should have been there for a long time. Distance mining right now because once it was Rogan, they're kind of being a little pesky. And I don't know what Stork's trying to do. Uh, maybe he feels that he doesn't want... I mean, yeah, okay, if he... Uh, thinking right now what he wants to do because... If he puts up Nexus back there at 12 o'clock and he gets attacked and taken out, that's just going to be way too big a loss of minerals for him right now. You know, he can use those 400. If he skips building a Nexus, yes, his mind is going to be slower, but he meanwhile going to be able to use those minerals at least for Zealot. Um, and he's at least trying to use some of his depleted assimilators to get a little bit of gas going. Can't be much at all. Uh, but every little bit helps. So every little, every Archon helps. Every High Templar helps. And I think actually... He should focus a little bit more on the Archons right now because he has Archon Zealots and High Templars. What's important about this right now is that his entire army can attack under Dark Swarm. He is getting himself uh, way too many plagues on him, but he can attack under Dark Swarm. So right now, Dark Swarm against this army is not going to be effective. So he's, that's why Jadon right now is focusing on Plague. He is going to get a Dark Swarm off. Not really going to help much. Storm still picking off at lurkers. Jadon still has lurkers out in the field. Are still some observers should be somewhere for Stork. I saw some observers early for him. They had a pretty sizable uh, fleet of observers. A lot of Archons there not moving in too close. Um, a little bit of micro stick. A couple of zealots running in right on that storm getting himself picked off. He has to be very careful. Can't really reinforce much in the way of any... Can't really reinforce much at all. But this is going to come down to an army right now. Stork has very little uh, mining, a little bit of distant mining, but Janon doesn't really have much at all. Both players have small armies. Is an observer out in the field, so any lurkers are going to manage to be taken out. They are going to unburrow, but they're probably going to die in transition. A lot of forces that haven't been taken out there by Jadon. Nothing but Archons and a few Zealots now for Stork. He's going to try to... Is he going to try to barrel up this ramp? There are observers on the field, so he's going to be able to engage. Still the only distance mining right now. He's going to have to rally point a bunch of zealots towards his army right now. He's not going to engage the 6 o'clock because there's going to be far too many risks, far too many second colonies there. He's not going to engage the location right now when he starts to go for an army. Kill DT! That's going to pick off both defilers. That's big. Also going to attack his ultra. He's probably not going to be able to pick it off, but taking off those two defilers, that's big. That's going to be no plagues for him. Still running out with DT just harassing no overlords there. He's not going to... Probably not going to even bother with those drones. He's just going to pick off Larva and forces. Try to avoid Zorvers as he can. Aye. Lurkers meanwhile going to pick, go to the 12 o'clock. Going to stop that distance mining. 
Probe's just going to be forced to try to still have Archon's Archon move charge position, so they are going to be able to pick this off pretty quickly. Uh, Stork still reinforcing with some high Templars, because even those high Templars are, I feel right now, not as important as having a decent Zealot Archon force. He's going to need those to get that big splash when uh, uh, when Jadong's Ultra is just going to hunker down. This is a bit of, this game is getting into a little bit of a stalemate, but there's definitely enough opening all over the place. It's not going to become a full-on stalemate. Another overward being lost. Every little overward right now is critical. Jadong also sweating a lot. I'm wondering whether he's close to a GG right now. He looks a little bit nervous. He's lost a lot of his force. I don't think he really has much in the way of anything. Except a few Ultras and Zergens and Hydrogen. are both players very much little in the way of army and the way of economy. Jadang now mining out his last few minerals that's under 100. Stork still at the very least, even though his distance mining has minerals at that 12. Look at all those probes running around distance mining. I think it was actually overall a good decision for him not to build a Nexus because it just... Uh, gave it's 400 minerals he needs for forces it's a position for Jadong to focus on and to possibly take advantage of because as soon as he puts up that 12 it's going to be a position that's much more vulnerable to put a nexus there sure probes this is mining there are they are a target but a nexus with probes mining them are a much bigger target and if you lost that nexus that would have been it. Now Jadon finally mined out. He's going to have his last forces being produced right now. But I think Stork Overwatch just has a better army composition. You can see Jadon sweating like crazy. He knows he's in a lot of trouble. I'm wondering if he's actually going to pull off all of his drones at the last ditch effort to maybe use him. He has a few ultras just allowing them to all uh, recover. And he has the followers and he's eating the Zerglings. And that's pretty bad. Consuming the Zerglings to get some plagues off. It's going to be pretty bad. Does have one single Dark Swarm up. At the very least, you know, Archon, they're not as effective under Dark Swarm as they are in the open ground, but still not too big a help. I think Zealots are coming in. More Archon's going to be morphing in. I think they're just going to be able to pull back, and Stork's going to be able to, uh, to control the battlefield right now. He's just going to be able to pull back. If there's a Dark Swarm on the field, hey, screw it. I'm not going to engage you under Dark Swarm. I'm just going to go around. <laughs> at the very least, for Jadong, he has some overlords that can run around and uh, pick off his forces to keep him alive for a little bit longer, but there's absolutely no mining or production of anything for Jadong. He only has gas being produced, and you can see all of his large just sitting around idly. Finally pro uh, moving drones up to the 12, I believe, to attempt to do some distance mining, but there are going to be Archons right on top of those. There's going to be Archons killing all these drones. You think you can mine my base? My base? I think not. Yeah, I think that's... Right there is the face of a GGing man. Now, mind you, this game is not, I think, as OMG epic as people have said. Uh, you know, there have been some pretty nice moments, though. Very good play by both players. Uh, kind of a comeback into a comeback into a comeback. I think early on, Jadong had the lead, then Stork kind of took the lead, then Jadong took a lead, then Stork got himself back into this game. I'm actually kind of surprised. I feel that the uh, Storks uh, Quasung outfit quite a bit like the Samsung, old Samsung one, mainly probably because of the colors. Well, I might say Storks jacket, despite the, the Samsung Khan's new uniforms being absolutely flaming, which is just not right. <laughs> I still feel that it just doesn't have enough. But yeah, that, that's it. He's, he knows he's gonna G, doesn't really have any chance, and he finally GG's. So Stork gonna take it for Samson Khan and Jadong knows how much that hurts. He knows how much that hurts because his team right now is in dire straits and so is Stork. Samson Khan and Quasin Oz, their, the entire league is about halfway done, maybe even a bit more than that. And they're at, the they're in the bottom six. They're not even close to being, they're not even close to the top six. So every single win counts and Jadong wanted that. Sweating like crazy, you can tell he wanted that. Still played well, but just not enough. Sometimes, you know, he has probably his coach and one of the teams coming to rub his shoulders, but still a very good game. Definitely a nice comeback game for me, I think, guys. Uh, you know, just a good game to come back into this. It's been awesome <laughs> for the first time ever to commentate a game on like a big ass screen TV. But great uh, GG by both guys. Uh, kind of unfortunate for Jadong here, but, you know, I got a solid game by both players and definitely stroke deserving of the win. Just kind of sad for Jadon because he knows he had a chance to win the game there. Just in the end, uh, couldn't quite make it. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, just look forward to more Sarkov commentating, more Let's Playing. Uh, I am going to do some uh, MSL Survivor Tournaments matches. I'm not going to do all of them. I, o I always only cover the MSL from the round of 32 onwards completely. But I am going to do some MST. I'm probably going to do a few Winners League matches, especially once the playoffs start. 
We're going to see whether I can actually do all the Winners League playoffs. Not quite sure. But uh, that's it for me for now. Uh, after a month, great to be back to StarCraft. Uh, did, went in this match. Didn't really feel all that rusty. Good to be Mr. Play-by-Play -play, as always. So for now, GG guys, wrenching out. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next commentary.